Well, hey everyone, I uh, hope you guys are all having a great week in spite of some of the limitations and the stresses that we're all experiencing during this season of life. Um, but one of the things that I, I've been thinking of the last uh, week or so is one of the things that is not uncertain during the COVID-19 crisis is that we should be washing our hands, right? We're, we're, we're being told that and we should wash our hands a lot. And for some of us, that means we need to do a little bit more. Uh, if you're like me, maybe uh, I, I washed my hands a lot before the COVID-19, 10, 15 times a day. That's just uh, the crazy guy that I am. Uh, but uh, now I'm, I'm finding myself washing my hands 40, 50 times a day. Like I, I touch something and I go and wash my hands and, and I, my hands are so dry and so uh, hard right now. Like I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to recover from this. Uh, but you know, uh, one of the things that they're telling us as we wash our hands is make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Take 20 seconds to wash your hands so that all the bacteria and germs and the virus will get off your hands. And uh, I was thinking about that this week. And, and as I was washing my hands and going through the routine, I was reminded of something uh, that I was taught about four years ago from another pastor friend of mine uh, about praying on a daily basis, just like we wash our hands uh, on a daily basis, pray on a daily basis for God to scrub our heart. And so I heard that about four years ago, and that's one thing that I do every single morning during my quiet time, is God, scrub my heart, clean it, wash away, brush away all those things that have filtered into my heart over the last day. And I don't know about you, but some days, man, my heart is filled with all kinds of junk and things that need to be scrubbed away. And so every morning when I wake up, my simple prayer is, God, scrub my heart. Get rid of all the junk that has gotten there so that I can live today like you want me to live. I'm reminded of a psalm uh, that David once wrote, and it's been encouragement to me over the years, and I hope today will be an encouragement to you in Psalm 139. And this is a, a song that David wrote during one of the dark moments of his life after some major sin and failure in his life. Listen to what he says to God. Uh, he says in Psalm 139, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you, O God, and lead me along the path of everlasting life. Man, I love that. And David is coming clean before God and said, God, I, I need you to, to scrub my heart on a regular basis. God, there are things in my heart that offends you, that goes against the life that you promised me. So God, get rid of those things. Reveal to me those things that need to, to, to leave my, my heart and my life. And I don't know about you, but during this crisis, there are some things that have entered my heart that I don't want to be there. There are things that have entered my heart that are only there because of this crisis that we're all stuck in. And so maybe now more than ever, I need to be praying God, scrub my heart. Please get rid of those things. Reveal those things that I need to get rid of so that I can live today the way you want me to live and the way you want me to speak and act in life. And so I want to encourage you today, uh, every day, as you're washing your hands, as you're focused on, on scrubbing the, the, the bacteria and the virus, potential bacteria off of your hands, think about, that prayer, God, scrub my heart today. Get rid of those things that aren't pleasing to you and fill that back up with your ways and your thoughts and your truths. Again, I hope this will be an encouragement to you today. Join me as making this prayer uh, part of our daily lives, just like washing our hands. Uh, we love you here at Journey Church. If you have anything that we could be praying for, if there's a prayer uh, that you have, I would love to pray for you. Our leaders would, come, would love to come alongside you and pray with you uh, during these tough times. So let us know we're here for each other. Uh, even though we can't meet together as a church physically, uh, we are still the church. And so uh, I can't wait to get back together and see you in person. But until then, we can still love each other and care for each other. Have a great rest of your week and hopefully see you online for our worship services on Sunday. Thank you.